everyone welcome back to my channel I'm Kelly from Kelly Lee Creates and I teach lettering and digital design tutorials so today I have a tutorial for you on uh, Silhouette Studio and how to use compound paths in Silhouette Studio and I wanted to put together this short video because I know a lot of people are confused about compound paths I know I was confused when I first started and I just thought that this would be a very simple ex explanation about what compound paths are and why we use them and how to use them in Silhouette Studio. So first we have to know what a compound path is. So a very very simple explanation. If you look at this design right here we have a pink circle and a uh, orange circle. Now if you if I click on the orange circle and move it you can see that there is pink behind this. So these are two separate paths. So the pink is one path and the orange is another path. So if I make these into a compound path, if I select both of them and go up here to object, make compound path, you can see now that the orange circle was cut out of the pink circle and so now these two circles so this was the outside of the pink circle and this was originally in here this was the outside of the orange circle but now they are combined together and they interact together to make one path and you can move them together like so so now I'm going to go ahead and show you how you can manipulate these compound paths and how you use these paths in Silhouette Studio. So I'm going to use this example using my SVG file, um, Friday Nights and Stadium Lights. And if you want a copy of this uh, file, I will leave the link below. Uh, but before we get into using this in Silhouette Studio, I want to take you over into Illustrator and show you how the file was set up in Illustrator. Here we are in Illustrator, and I'm just going to go over this really quick because I know that uh, some of you um, may not have ever used Illustrator or opened it or taken a look at it. Maybe you have no, no desire to use Illustrator, but I just want to... Uh, just go over this quickly. So here's the file in Illustrator, and over here are the different layers of the file. And you can see, if I turn them off, there's the uh, text on one layer, and the football on another layer, and the ampersand is on another layer. Now over here, this is the layers panel. And if, you, if I click on here, you see that it says compound path. So I have three compound paths here. The text is one compound path. The football is another compound path. And the ampersand is another path. And the way I have set this file up is I have then grouped all of these paths together into one group. And you can see if I turn this on and off, they are all together in one group. But there are three separate compound paths that make up this group. All right, so that is just an overview of how this file was set up in Illustrator. Um, some designers may do it differently. This is how I do it. So now I'm going to take you back over to Silhouette and show you how you can manipulate uh, the file over in Silhouette. Okay, so here we are back in Silhouette. And remember how I said, I had three compound paths and they were all grouped together. So if I just click on the file right here, you can see that it all moves together because it's all grouped together. Now, if you wanted to cut this out separately, um, if you wanted to cut the word like Friday out of a separate color vinyl than the word nights, the way it is set up now you cannot do that because it is grouped together and um, the text is all one compound path so what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to ungroup it and also release the compound paths so in order to do that you select the file and come up here to object and ungroup 
And when you do that, you can see now that we have the football as one, one um, path, the ampersand as another, and then the text as another um, section. And that was exactly how it was laid out in uh, Illustrator. But what if I want to cut the word stadium out of a different color vinyl and have Friday and nights and lights be another color vinyl? The way that it is right now, we cannot do that because it is all the, the text right here is one compound path. So if we wanted to break this up, we would have to release the compound path. So to do that, you just click on the uh, path that you want to release. In this case, I'm going to show you the text. So I click on the text. I go up here to Object, Release Compound Path. And when you do that, you see that all the holes and the letters were filled in. Now, if you remember back when I showed you this example of this compound path, First, we had this orange circle, I'm sorry, the pink circle with the orange circle on top of it. And when we made this into a compound path, that's when the hole was cut out of the center. So when we, if we release this compound path again, the circle comes back. It's not orange this time but you can now see that there are two separate circles. And that's what happened with this file right here. When we release the compound path, that is why all these, um, all the holes got filled in. Now that's not a problem. We can totally fix that and manipulate it by just selecting everything that we want and creating the compound path again. So if we want to say the word Friday, we select everything in the word Friday and make sure you have the holes selected too. And the easiest way I have found is to click and drag my cursor over the word and come up here to Object, Make Compound Path. And then the holes are then cut out again and you can see that Friday is now separate from everything else. And so we can do the same thing down here with the word stadium. Just click and drag and select everything. Go up to object, make compound path. And then that is the holes are all cut out again. And that, um, that word is now separate from everything else. Now you can see if I click on lights down here, every single letter is separate here. So we can do the same thing with the word nights and lights. Even though they don't have any holes cut out of the letters, we can still create compound paths from these letters and they will, the separate paths right here will act as one. So again, just click and drag object, make compound path, and then click and drag across nights, object, make compound path. And now each uh, word is a separate path. And so you can fill each word with a separate color and you can cut them out however you want. So that is a quick overview of compound paths and how they work and how you can manipulate them in Silhouette Studio to cut out the design the way you want to. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you like it, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any new videos. If you want more Silhouette tutorial videos, you can visit my blog at kellyleecreates.com. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.